So, that's Joko's finest. Wretched looking group. Still, they're about to stand shoulder to shoulder with us on the battlefield. So a little respect. Oh, Commander. The Awakened troops are here, but no sign of Balthazar yet. And there's Krakatorik, which means we're not too late. I should check in with our Awakened allies before Balthazar arrives. Kaz? Coming up. Let's hope this is the last time. Commander. Oh, wait. I got us into this mess over Sahothan, but you can get us out of it. Thinking back, I now know what Cormier meant. Undo this wrong. The means are in your grasp. You should have it. No. Sohothan is yours. The only thing that matters is stopping Balthazar. When he sees you are not dead, he'll turn his full fury on you and no one else. He won't expect you to have it, which makes this our best hope. I'm honored, Tribune. I'll bring it back in one piece. Yes, you will. Commander, I hesitate to mention, but according to the Order, there are three other entrances to the bazaar in addition to this main gate. Joko's marshals have dispatched soldiers to each location, but they themselves have chosen to remain here. If Balthazar shows up at any of those other gates, the Awakened won't stand a chance without leadership. Three out of four chance that Balthazar could just waltz into town. Seems awful risky. I agree. You three should coordinate the armies at each gate. I'll stay here, since the Marshals have already accepted my leadership. <sighs> Works for me. Good luck to you, Commander. Good luck to us all. Archon, the Awakened are assembled and await your orders. True Marshal. Focus your troops in the Forged Infantry. Marshal Ironko's mounted corps will disrupt their snipers. Marshal Ikolo. Or Marshal, where is your unit? There, on the front line. Our ranks have shrunk as my worms have been sacrificed for the greater good. But a single properly trained Janundu can wreak more havoc than a hundred of Ogun's worthless worm-eating grunts. Then you target the Elite Forge and keep them off our backs Remember, as best you can. The Archon speaks for Joe. Archon! Forge the scouts Archon on the ridge! Awaken! Take your positions! In Joko's name, let's give Balthazar a proper desert welcome! Marshals, you have your orders! Go! Swallow them whole!
Understand what you're saying. The DZ said ballot Elder Dragon. Tie me. Tie me. Cross on foot. Commander! The exalted... The gods... What just happened? Why did it get quiet? Jaime, are you still there?
way up those walls. Jump.
take it off. Here to free Orin from that thing. You took advantage of Grant's absence to escape the domain of the lost. But your resurrection is over. No more running, Balthazar. Face me. Breaking 
town, Balthazar. Sit this one out. Down. You failed! Your joy confounds me. Do you think this is over? The scion is still mine. The dragon is near death. You will not keep me from my destiny! One challenge down. Okay. 
that champion. I can fix what I've done. Only if Kavator wins. But you stand in the I'm finish. Okay. Where's Balthazar? Bet. Balthazar was determined to kill an Elder Dragon. And we stopped him. The world is safe. For now. Is Orin okay? She saved my life. Then she ran off. Probably not safe to stay here. We should meet up back in Amnoon to discuss what to do next. See you back in Amnoon. Yes. 
message to relay. Amnun has really stepped up their security since the last time I was here. Commander! Hey! Timey! What are you doing in Amnun? I decided to take a break from the lab and get back out in the field. I'm here to give you guys a hand and hopefully poke some stuff. Of course, I'm sure old Flaunt and his flunky squad are probably combing through my dragon lab as we speak. Time. Anyway, Jory and I hitched a ride with Captain Keel and some trade envoys in her slow, floaty airship. This place really needs an Asura gate. Timey! Balthazar's dead. I heard! Congratulations! So what do we call you now? Dragon Slayer or God Stomper or what? Timey focus. When Balthazar died, Kraukatoric absorbed most of his freed energy. Kraukatoric's even stronger and more dangerous than ever. Oh boy, that could seriously accelerate the Elder Dragon imbalance. I should run some worst case hypotheticals right away. You're lucky I'm here. And good thing I've got everything I need right here in Mobile Lab Scruffy 2.0. Excuse me, Commander. Chief Counselor Amon requests your presence inside for a small celebration to honor your victory. Sounds like someone's gotta go take a bow. Thank you. She's waiting for you now in the town square, sir. Everyone is. Ugh. No rest for the heroic. Daimi, I'll go say a quick hello to the Counselor, then we can meet on the docks. I'll catch you up on everything there. You got it, God Stomper. It is a happy day indeed. A uh, high Commander. We heard the great news about Balthazar. I hope you don't mind my arranging this little celebration of your victory. It's an impressive gathering, Counselor, but my crew and I really must rest. Of course, I'm certain killing gods must be exhausting work, but I can't in good conscience let Amnoon's heroes leave until you've all been fed, fawned over, and properly fed it. Perhaps just for a moment. I understand you've met Grand Vizier Udumishi. He's been regaling us with tales of your close collaboration on this great victory. What? Him? Yes, the Grand Vizier deserves all the credit he can grab. I would not have had the use of Joko's troops if not for his eager insistence. When the truth about this victory is told to King Joko, I promise your name will come up as well. No. Oh, no. Excuse me. I, I, I must go. Now. That's odd, and a bit worrisome. Udumishi may be a servile little weasel, but he moves in the highest echelons of Joko's government. 
But no, I won't let dark thoughts of that Lich King ruin this celebration. Today is about you, your companions, and your glorious victory. Actually, Counselor, I need to tell you the truth about what happened to Kodash. No, no, no. Save your honesty for another day. It's been too long since this city, since these people have had anything to celebrate, or heroes to embrace. They need this. They need you. In fact, citizens of Amnoon, raise your glasses in toast to our heroes who delivered us from Balthazar and restored peace to our city. Cheers! Yes. Hear, hear. Speech! Speech! Yes, Commander. Those who owe you their lives want to hear all about your momentous victory. Or, if you'd rather take a few moments to relax, mingle, and enjoy the moment first, you can take the stage whenever you're ready. Of all the gods, I've always liked Balthazar least. As soon as I'm finished with the speech, thank you anyway, for encouraging them. I'm glad them. he's dead. We've got to gather Good everyone choice. up and find Orin. <sighs> It's embarrassing to think the Dragon's Watch has been reduced to dragon babysitting. You saw what happened when Balthazar died. Now we've got to go deal with an enraged, unpredictable Elder Dragon. All due respect, Commander. That's all I've wanted to do from the start. Well, you're about to get your wish. I just have to figure out what I should tell these people first. Any advice? What it cannot say. I haven't spoken to him yet. Why? I just wanted to know which one of us you came to first. Seriously? Well, I think you have to tell them the truth. That the gods have abandoned them, the killing Balthazar backfired, and now there's a riled up crystal dragon somewhere on the horizon. Listen, if Kralkatorik shows his big scaly snout here, It'd be nice if these people were ready for it. But then... Maybe what these people really need is a brief moment of hope and happiness. Before they go back to living every day in fear. <laughs> You've already talked to Casimir, haven't you? Sorry, Tribune. I'm not saying. I hope my daughter Commander. grows up to be Good. just like you. We've got to get back out there and find Orin. And figure out what to do about Krakatoric. We just have to make a graceful exit from the celebration. Uh, by the way, you're not considering telling these people everything that's happened, are you? I don't know yet. Please. I've spent a lot of time around these people. I'm not sure that they could handle the truth about the gods or the Elder Dragons. Not after all they've been through. Can't we just give them one day? I suppose it is true the most immediate threat is gone. Then let them keep singing and dancing and laughing for today. Whatever tomorrow brings, we'll face it then. <sighs> Seems like saving the world used to be so much simpler. I doubt you remember me, but I was in the pyramid the day you we arrived. We owe you our lives. We forged it him? Mommy, is that so. the hero? Thank you. You think before you guys pack up and head home, you can I've maybe never do seen an actual hero up, up close before. Lost.
For the last time, I am not a grouchy cactus man, nor am I a ju- Tell me about it. They closed the casino for this little soiree, so I can't collect for my wager on you until tomorrow. Which means I'm stuck in this haven for giddy, singing, dancing humans for at least one more day. We Silvari are not, by and large, a giddy folk. We'll be out of here soon enough. Really? Unless I misheard, don't you have a speaking engagement first? Believe me, I considered just sneaking out, but I'm convinced Councillor Imad just hung me down. Might I suggest, when you do speak, that you avoid giving them the whole frightful truth while they're in such a party mood. On the other hand, I would also be wary of painting too rosy a picture. No reason to encourage their delusions of safety. We want them to stop ah. this frivolous behavior and return to their senses when the morning comes. Just keep it vague. Nothing to get people too worked up either way. You just don't want them to close the casino again tomorrow. In my defense, it was a substantial wager. Honestly, I'm not sure what I'll tell them. I just want to get it over with so we can turn our attention back to Orin and Krakatoric. Commander, the crowd is getting restless. It's time to take the stage. <laughs> People of Amnur, please open your hearts and prick up your ears for the warrior who stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with the wrathful god, and how. You call us heroes, but while you honor us, the truth is, this victory belongs to all of you. Balthazar betrayed everyone who revered him. Even the other gods rejected him. But you, all of you, stood up to him. And the four of us, all we did was finish the fight you started. Put an end to the nightmare. Speak up! <laughs> but Balthazar's death also stirred the elder dragon, Kraukatoric. It circled overhead. Attacking the desert just like it did Ascalon ten years ago. When the smoke cleared, we saw it disappear over the horizon. But the immediate threat is averted. Balthazar is dead. His forged army defeated. Meaning tranquility in the desert. At least for now. Yes! I can't hear you! So, for today, celebrate! Enjoy the peace Balthazar took from you. The peace you fought to regain. And tomorrow, start rebuilding your lives and get ready to face the future. With whatever challenges and dangers it might bring, may you always prevail. Thank you. Thank you. Commander, thank you for that inspiring address. And I apologize if I pressured you into speaking earlier. That was clearly my mistake. Okay, now that you've assuaged their tiny feelings, it might be a good time to sneak away and join the rest of us on the docks. Next, I filled Timey in on everything that happened with Balthazar, Kralkatorik, and Aurene. First of all, about my killing Balthazar. You did what you had to do to save Aurene and yourself. And if it weren't for you, Commander, none of those people at that party would be alive right now. 
That's rather faint praise. Well, first thing we have to do is find Orin. First thing is to hunt down Kraukatorik. Neither of those will help until we find out how to replace Elder Dragons. And, as usual, we'll probably end up having to protect all those innocent idiots who don't know how to stay out of harm's way. thinking it, so I'll just come out and say it. Should we try one more time to get all of Dragon's Watch together? After all this time, do you even know where everyone is? Well, one of them is right here. Jory! Kaz, thank the gods you're okay. Kanak told me what happened with Balthazar. I was so afraid I'd never get to see you again. To tell you that... I, I am so sorry about the way we left things. I know. I know. Me too. I hate to interrupt, but did anybody feel that? Feel what? Oh dear. Tell me this is just normal desert stuff. Krakatoric. And so it begins. I never thought I'd be happy to see so many Cavaliers around the city. We're in Captain Rahim's capable hands. His Cavaliers will protect us. Sweet, sweet treasure. <laughs> 